Hi, and welcome to Davis Sports Report, where we're going to have a little Dash Dialogue. Please remember to hit the like button on your way in and turn on notifications so you know right away when we drop new content or go live. What a wild day at the Diamond League in Silesia, Poland. We had the return of both Kenny Bednarik and gold medal winner Messiah Russell. Three men cleared six meters in the pole vault, with one breaking a world record. Fem Kabol doing what she does and running down her competition, and another world record being broken in the 300 meters. Let's get into it. Starting with the women's 100-meter hurdles, where Messiah Russell made her first track appearance since the Paris Olympics three weeks ago. The lineup is very similar to the lineup at the Olympics, but the outcome was very different. Coming in first is Akira Nugent from Jamaica, who nipped the first hurdle in the Paris Olympics, slowing her to a halt. Her time today was 12.29, and that is a meeting record. Coming in second was Grace Starks of the United States with a time of 12.3 seconds. And third was Danielle Williams of Jamaica with a time of 12.38. Now let's jump to the women's 100 meter, which was a very tight race. Coming in first was Tia Clayton from Jamaica with a time of 10.83, which would have been her personal best, but it was determined after the race that the wind speed was 2.9, which is over the limit. Therefore, it will not count towards her record. I was really sad to hear this because I just heard a content creator talking about Tia in her social media post where she basically said, in God's time, right? So I'm really happy to see her winning and I'm sure this win boosted her confidence. Coming in second was Marie Jose Talou Smith with a time of 10.83, and it is great to see her back in the leader pack. And third was Tamari Davis of the United States with a time of 10.84. Moving on to the women's 400 meter hurdles, where Femme Kabul took down the competition in the last 20 meters looking absolutely amazing and breaking the meeting record. She had a time of 52.13. Coming in second was Anna Cockrell from the United States with a time of 52.88. And third was Rochelle Clayton of Jamaica with a time of 53.11. Then there's the women's 400 meter where another meeting record was broken. Coming in first was Marilady Polino from Dominican Republic with a time of 48.66. Second was Salwa Iyad Nasser from Bahrain with a time of 49.23. And third was Natalia Kazmarek of Poland with a time of 49.94. Now we'll move on to the men's side of things. We will start with the men's 200 meter where Kenny Bednarik made his return to the track after the Paris Olympics. But when you're talking 200 meters, let's see Tobago has put his stamp on it. We had Letzil Tobago of Botswana coming in first with a time of 19.83, a meeting record. Second was Alexander Ogando of Dominican Republic with a time of 19.86, which was his personal best. And third was Kenny Bednarik from USA with a time of 20 seconds. Heading now to the men's 800 meter where you guessed it, another meeting record was broken. Coming in first was Marco Arup of Canada with a time of 1 minute 41.86 seconds. Second was Paris Olympic gold medalist Emmanuel Wanyoni of Kenya with a time of 1 minute 43.23. And third was Bryce Hopple from the USA with a time of 1 minute 43.32. Now let's talk about world records that were broken. We will start with the pole vault, where we had three, yes, three athletes jump over six meters. Coming in third was Emmanuel Corrales from Greece, who vaulted six meters, joining an elite few that have vaulted over six meters. This was his personal best. Coming in second was Sam Kendricks from the United States. He last jumped six meters in 2020, and he did it again today. And coming in first was Armand Duplantis, who easily cleared six meters and decided to take it a step further and go for his own world record of 6.25. He was able to clear it on his second jump and raise the stakes for future track meets. He jumped 6.26. How exciting.
And last but definitely not least is the 300 meter race where our favorite trash talker reclaimed his status to once again talk that trash after not meddling at the Paris Olympics. Coming in first, Jacob Ingelbertson of Norway who crushed the world record and ran his victory lap. This guy regained the respect of many with this performance. His time and the new world record is seven minutes, 17.55 seconds. Coming in second was Bayrou Argawai from Ethiopia with a time of seven minutes, 21.28 seconds, which was his personal best and a national record. And third was Yomif Kijelki, also of Ethiopia with a time of seven minutes, 28.44 seconds. This meet was truly worth watching and dazzled in comparison to last week's Diamond League meet in Lausanne, Switzerland, where most were still fatigued from the Olympics and many of the star athletes that we love to watch didn't attend. The next Diamond League meet will be in Rome, Italy on August 30th, and we will be back to bring you those updates. We want to thank you for watching Davis Sports Report. Please, if you have not done so already, like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you on the next one. Have a good one.